see what she can do with it. Behind us, but we've just ripped our mane in half. So we're... Oh, first fish on Catalpa! We left Anak Krakatau and sailed about 80 nautical miles to our next anchorage. Righto! Jump the pit! Ah, we might be going surfing. We've just arrived in uh, an area of South Sumatra after a little rough night last night, travelling from Krakatau, which was sick. And uh, Lee's putting us in the spot. Captain Lee Lee just getting it done. There are a lot of little moments that cause some stress when sailing. This one was captured. When we were dropping the anchor, the anchor chain got jammed. But the boys were to the rescue. So the rainy season started. It's the wet season. It's what the Catalpa crew does in the wet season. Just scrubbing the decks. Scrubbing them, me hearties. <laughs> Get back into it, mate. The decks were clean and it was time for an afternoon surf. My love. Some fire Yeah, we're about to go surfing. Yeah! So Sarah's got a new surfboard. It's her birthday present thanks to Gary Hubbard. Thanks, Gary. Let's see what she can do with it. The waves were small and fun and it was so nice to finally be back surfing. We were so pumped to surf, no one wanted to sit and film. I had the GoPro but it was down my wetsuit most of the time. Sometimes you've just got to live the moment and enjoy. So the boys are just Pash is planning our next passage. Is this where we're heading? I'm just on We're looking at a little... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you don't know anything. Just checking He's out my pretending. He's pretending he's helping. That's where we're heading. Look at this that. little here, we're going to probably pull up anchor sort of maybe just in behind this little island here and then there's a nice little right hander right there. There's some really nice waves pouring down the point. Uh, we're taking off, we've got the boat prepped and we're just trying to beat this little storm that's coming in behind us here so we can start nice and dry for the passage and we're taking off from South Sumatra now and we're heading out to the South Mentawai Islands. So pretty excited, um, we've got a nice breeze so it should be a, a good fast sail. What a strapping young man he is, eh? <laughs> How I prepare food when it's a bit rough sailing. Just making dinner and uh, sitting down chopping. So what I find easier when we're rocking, when we're sailing along, is I kind of put all the stuff on the side. Whoa! Ooh, intense. <laughs> I put all the bowls down there and I chop and put into bowls that are on there because when I'm on the bench everything just slides back and forth. It's 
in our bedroom on passage and it gives you a bit of an idea of the sounds of the autopilot and the motion and the waves at the windows. Meanwhile, up top in the helm, the boys weren't quite as cosy. about two o'clock in the morning, got thunderstorms, we've just got a wrap with the head sail and um, yeah, we're just trying to figure out how to get this undone. We're not even a quarter of a way into our passage and the last thing we want is this thing to rip in half. So we're about 20 knots behind us in a full wrap, so fingers crossed we can get this unwrapped. It was a wet, cold night for the boys, and when it was my turn, the skies cleared and we made some good ground with nice conditions. I even managed to prepare some breakfast for our new crew. Treat you, Joe. Mate, last night was torture. We got pretty, pretty gnarly storm come through. It was about 16 nautical miles in diameter, and we got stuck right in the middle of it for hours. Wine glass, the head saw, slashed up the main. It's chaos to push through. Cold, rainy. Couldn't have been that bad. You're still here. Life of a sailor. Right, we had Captain Lee Lee, mate, he kept everything in water, he kept everyone dry and warm. <laughs> J Boy is stoked with the outdoor shower. Oh, another evening, second night, second lot of storms. Ripped mainsail, we've got the reef in, lucky the rip was underneath the uh, reefing point there, so. Still got a little bit of main left to get us to Padang. But um yeah, looks like it's gonna be another wet night. Little storm cell there, if we can just get past this, I think we'll be right. <laughs> and uh it's looking a bit like we're gonna get smashed again tonight. Um, we're right on the cusp of the storm cell right now. And I thought we might have been out on the skirt of it, but it's looking like we're going to just sail straight into it. What do you reckon, Lee Lee? Coming straight at us. Mate, you lose some, and you lose some. <laughs> Quite a silhouette, that thing now, Lee. Just the light, mate, just the light. I'll put it away. 
Good Mother. evening. How's the weather? We're just kind of waiting a storm right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Does it look like last night? No, yeah. there's only one one cell at the moment. So fingers crossed. I've been uh, around the boat with a tube of black silicon over white paint so it looks really sexy up on the deck here but we had a little bit of a leakage issue last night we actually had quite a few issues last night we had our head sail turn into a wine glass we turned our main sail into a half a main um, we we're leaking water like a sieve good solid amount of rain storm after storm swell after swell and um, yeah, I think Jay's got this one tonight. And uh, I'll leave you with it. <laughs> Jay's been the navigator this evening. He's uh, trying to work his way around this big storm cell in front of us. So hopefully he's done his job there and we can get out of the first cell and set up for a little bit of a movie night. Otherwise, we'll pull out the raincoats and get really wet again. Actually, come to think of it, that wasn't all either. The raincoats, we actually, we might be going to wetsuits tonight because our raincoats are all leaking too. So, Jay was in the fetal position here this morning, shivering away at three, four o'clock in the morning and yeah, just don't have the wet weather gear either. So, no rain. Fingers crossed, mate. We'll be right. Last night. Last night. The boys had a better night. Still wet, but not as eventful. The rain continued, but things looked up when Lee's line went off. Beautiful, a fish for dinner. But unfortunately, it got off. No fish today. Where is it? Yeah, I get up. Or do we? There might be hope. Jaybury is going to have a crack at this one. Oh, first fish on the cell bar. Don't drop it. Don't pull it in. <laughs> oh, it's a little tuna. You! It might not be the biggest tuna. But it's not always about the size, is it, mate? So we're just coming past where we're actually we're going to anchor. But we've decided to keep going. So we got news from a weatherman. The weatherman said, keep going. Weatherman! So yeah, well, we've got wind. We're going to keep heading north. And... Uh, this little island that's got beautiful white sand and coconut trees is just gonna have to stay here all on its lonesome. Where are we off to? Just heading that way. We'll be in paradise tomorrow. Maybe just like oh, we might even have a little bit of tuna sashimi in paradise tomorrow. Oh. A bit of a special day tomorrow everybody. Back in 1983 something spectacular happened. Oh no, the spectacular has happened about nine months before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I came into the world, everyone. What a lovely, lovely day. 35 years ago. And all I wanted for my birthday was to be in paradise. And these two are going to make that happen. Woohoo! Alright, so we're just pulling up to anchor. In the Mantowais. So we uh, we were pulling up another island hoping for surf and sunshine, but we didn't get it today. So we're pulling up here. We're gonna head off early in the morning and uh, go around to find some surf and sunshine because that's what I'm requesting for my birthday. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed.
If you like that episode, remember to give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see where we are in real time, you can go over to our Instagram page or Facebook page at Sailing Catalpa and follow us there. We hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye. Bye. These videos are made possible by our patrons. Thank you all so very much. Waves, everyone. Yeah, I want to go right there. And there is waves. lots of beautiful beaches, clear water. I'm just, this is just my heaven. So exciting. So join us next time as we arrive in the Mentowais. And my birthday is celebrated with perfect waves in paradise. Remember guys, if you liked that video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see more.